Hey, what's going on, guys? Effects here, and I'm back. And today we're doing a lineup video, a overall team update video, and a team lineup video. This video I will go over more in depth of like what what players I have and why kind of I have these players there, and what I'm looking forward to do with the team. As you can see, I'm 89 overall, and I got about 1.1 million coins. I'm just sitting on those coins right now because I'm unsure of where what direction I want to take this team in. I, I got. Lockdown fully maxed out, go deep fully maxed out, and zone run fully maxed out. But I'm really unsure of where I exactly want to go. So, yeah, what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna go over the team, starting from linemen to wide receivers, then defense, top to bottom. We're gonna go over one by one. I'm gonna do these videos, they're gonna be weekly lineup updates. I'm gonna do them once a week, and I'll start it. What's today? Today is. Monday, August 13th. I'll do them every Monday and you'll just see what improvements I add. So, t as you can see, we got Tyron Smith with Go Deep, 88 overall, left tackle. We'll go over the stats too so you guys can see. 88 strength, 89 awareness, 88 pass block, 88 pass block, 86 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 80 run block power, 85 run block finesse. Alright, this guy. He balls for me. Sometimes he gets shitted on, though. I'm not going to lie. He, I'm going to go over. He, he doesn't really get shitted on that much, but I'm going to go over who gets shitted on, which is weird. It's kind of weird about this card. But Steve Hutchinson, he's pretty good. I like this card. I actually don't like Legend Linemen because I feel like their value will go down eventually because they're always releasing Legend Linemen and stuff like that. So I feel like their, their value goes down every time a new card comes out. But players with power-ups, they'll eventually go up, like Travis Frederick. That's why I got the whole Cowboys O-line, Travis Frederick and Zach Martin, because they their price will, will rise and they're, they'll keep getting cards throughout the year because their O-line always plays well. So it's a long-term investment. But we see Steve Hutchinson, he got 90 run block, 90 run block power, 87 run block finesse, 88 pass block, 89 pass block power, 91 awareness, 86 pass block finesse, 89 strength. He's pretty good. He, he doesn't really get shit on that much. He's pretty good with the run too. He boxes everybody out his side. But Travis Frederick, this card is weird. When it He has 86 strength, right? 91 awareness, 87 pass block, 90 run block, 88 run block power, 91 run block finesse, 88 pass block power, 84 pass block finesse. All right. This guy is weird because versus Vita Vey, he sometimes really gets shitted on. And it's it kind of gets me mad because I'm like, he's a really good card. So, I don't know. Vita Vey is 87 overall, but Vita Vey has like a 92 strength or something. So, a lot of the times versus Vita Vey, he gets shitted on. We got Zach Martin. Um, Zach Martin, 86 strength, 89 awareness, 89 pass block, 88 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse, 88 run block, 87 run block power, 90 run block finesse. And as you can see, this guy, he's really good. Let's go back again. He's really good. His stats are really good. He, I really don't have no problems for him. Um, I pull to the right on sweeps and pitches, so I don't really have a problem for him. His speed is 63, so he's pretty decent for me. And Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson is pretty good. He catches the block on, on, my, on my tosses to the right. 81 strength, I don't like. 88 awareness, I don't like. I think the 90s, you need 90s for the awareness because so, sometimes he doesn't pick up the blocks 86 run block 86 run block power 86 run block finesse i really don't like that but i'm assuming but i want to get his team diamond card so he's his team diamond has really good stats 89 pass block 87 pass block power 88 pass block finesse this card he kind of sometimes sometimes he'll like pick up the block late and i'll try to cut up and then i realize oh he actually picked up the block so it's weird i just got to get used to get used to running better with with uh lane johnson on the field Delaney Walker, now I just now, like recently did his team diamond, and I upgraded him. He has 83 speed, 6'2", 80 strength, 90 catching, 87 catching traffic, 83 spec catch, 85 run block, 87 short route, 80, 83 medium route. I don't know his deep route running, but I don't really need him for deep. I just need him for like slants across the middle, my crossing routes, and my corner routes. So he has an 85 run block, which is super good. And can I compare him to Tyler Eifert? The pairman to Tyler Eifer, obviously he's four overalls higher. He's really good. And he has zone run times four and energizer. I'm thinking about getting West Coast though instead of the go deep, maybe. I'm not sure what's better. But we'll just have to theory craft that later. And we got Tyler Eifer there and Evan Engram there. I don't want to really go over them because I don't really No, let's go over them. Let's go over the whole team. If this video takes 10 minutes, it takes 10 minutes. It's a lineup update. 
All right, we have Tyler Eifert, 80 speed, 88 catch and 89 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 84 short run, 82 medium route run, 75 run block, 70 strength. He catches like all my balls. No, no homo. Pause. He catches like all my balls on to the side of the um to the corner routes and you know the drags. He doesn't really have any breakaway speed though, but he catches what I need him to catch and he run blocks pretty decently. He catches what I need to catch and he he catches the high balls i love him for the high balls i loved them last year for the high balls but we also have evan engram here you know he doesn't start or see the field but you can see his stats right there i'm not gonna really go over it because he doesn't see the field so it's not really important but he has 83 speed and that's all that really matters 83 spec catch tyler eifert was catching all my high balls i haven't played a game with delaney walker yet so we have randy moss still here randy moss has 90 speed, 91 jumping, 91 catching, 88 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 87 route run, 89 medium, 80, 93 deep route. I'm pretty sure 90 is the threshold for when they start getting really good. So anything less than that is okay. But this guy Randy, I still haven't powered him up yet, even though I need to. He's really good. He's really good. I still haven't powered him up. I'm going to do it. But he's he's great. Uh, no complaints there. Um, let's see, we got Tyreek Hill, 92 speed, 85 jump, 79 catch, and 73 catch in traffic, 78 spec, 80 short, uh, 71 medium route run, 82 deep route run. You guys know what this guy does, he's just a, he's a man on beaters, he's a man on streaks, and he's what you need in your lineup. If you don't, just power him up, get the power version of him, power him all the way up, if you don't have him. I also have, um, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown powered up is really good. I like him. 85 speed, 82 jumping, 91 catching, 90 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, 90 short, 89 medium route run, 89 deep route run. This guy catches everything. Like when I tell you he catches everything, he catches everything. Absolutely. He's a monster. Like he's Julio doesn't catch as much as he does. Maybe because I don't have Julio's team diamond, but Julio doesn't catch as much as he does. And I like AB. He catches everything for me. He catches it in traffic. He mosses people. Maybe it's because he's the cover athlete, so they have to give him the blessing, but he catches everything. Let's go over Julio, and let's compare him to AB. Julio Julio has 86 speed. Let's compare Julio to AB. Julio has 86 speed, 90 jumping, 87 catching, 87 catching traffic. I'm pretty sure it's the 90 threshold this year, guys. 91 spec catch, eight, uh, 85 short, 85, 82 mid, 85 deep. This Julio, he honestly doesn't didn't play good for me. Some people say he plays good for them. He didn't play good for me, so I, that's why that's why I powered up AB. Um, I might need the team diamond one, but we have Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon is really good, really good. 89 speed, 95 carrying. He rarely ever fumbles for me. Like maybe one fumble out of every eight games. 88 excel, 90 agility, 71 catching, 90 elusiveness. The 90 is elusiveness is the threshold, I'm pretty sure. 90 agility, definitely. And I have spin specialist on him. I like the spin specialist. Uh, I had I had energizer, but I'm just going to try to spin specialist now. So, all right. This video might take a little longer than, than needed, but it's a team update. So, yeah. All right, we have um 92 Mike Vick. Now, 92 Mike Vick has 93 throw power, 83. 8 speed, 88 short accuracy, 82 mid accuracy, 88 deep accuracy, 86 throw under pressure, 92 throw under run, 85 play action. For this short in the year with those accuracy stats, it's really good. He sometimes oversells my beaters though. I've noticed that he sometimes overthrows the beaters. He rarely, he sometimes has like an accuracy mishap, but it's nowhere near the Vic from last year that Vic would just randomly just overthrow it or something like that. But he's really good. And I can't complain. Sometimes he bombs the beaters when it's just like, yo, that's like, did Vic just throw a, a 70 yard bomb dot? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so, yeah. And then we have Carson Wentz in the back. All right, we got Tommy Bohannon right here as my fullback. He's my lead blocker in my sweeps and my tosses and um, in my elite, in my lead dives out of I form. 75 speed, 81 run block, 90 lead block, 86 strength. That's all you need to know. And everything else is. That's all you need to know, honestly. 88 awareness. I wish it was 90 awareness. I'm going to probably get Lorenzo Neal because Lorenzo Neal is better. But he has really good stats. The 90 lead block, it really helps a lot. Uh, just finding the holes easier. Um, and that's it for offense. We There we have for offense. And there you have the chemistries on all of the guys. I'll go down them. You can see the chemistries right there. Um, yeah, those are the chemistries. That's the offense lockdown. We got go deep at 25 tier, so plus three throw power, and we got zone run at plus at tier three. So 
We got two plus carry and two plus spin move, two plus juke, one plus run block, one plus elusiveness, run plus one run block finesse. We got three plus throw power, three plus break sack, three, two plus spec, two plus deep accuracy, two plus deep route running, and three plus. Um, I'm not sure what BPR is. It's a good question. All right. Well, let's go for defense. Defense, we have Big Sean Taylor. And he's not the big version. I want to get his big version, but it's like 400K and it. It rarely ever drops. It drops at night. If I could get it for 350, I'll do it. I'm not paying 400k for a car that's gonna go up in like two speed. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. It's not worth it in my opinion because I could just end up saving for Ronnie Lot and wait until I get my Ronnie Lot. You know what I'm saying? Which is gonna be in like the next maybe three weeks. I'll get him probably. Maybe less. Ronnie Lot is only 1.5 mil right now, so I could possibly get him. So I'm I'm probably gonna keep the Sean Taylor. For a while until i decide to get ronnie lot and yeah so that's that's probably what i'm gonna do and i'll go i'll go over stats since i didn't 86 speed 89 excel 88 play rec 87 zone 88 hit power 88 pursuit 76 man 79 tackle his card stats are actually pretty doo-doo but like not doo-doo but doo-doo in comparison to all the other players on my team but he plays so good which is so weird he plays so much better than what his card always that's why sean taylor is a glitch because he plays so much better than what his card shows for it's like joey bosa um in this game so yeah we have um we have Derek Brooks, 82 speed, 85 excel, 93 play rec, which is definitely most needed, 90 tackling. I'm just going to go over the stats that actually make sense for the card. The, the 72 strength is cool, 78 block shed, 61 power, 60, 77 finesse. That's cool, but we just need that 93 play rec and that 82 speed. I don't really, he only sees the field in, um, what does he see this, the field in for me? He doesn't really see the field much for me because I run, sometimes in my 4-3, I, I don't really, I run my um 4-6 defense and he doesn't really see the field for me it's more bobby wagner um so because i have one linebacker out there so it's more bobby wagner he doesn't really see the field for me so i haven't really upgraded him yet but yeah we have Tobin smith there as well you guys know Tobin smith he's cool you guys can see the stats right here i'll show him for a second 91 play rack 81 speed 85 block shed he's really good oh, excuse me one second Okay, all right, so we have Bobby Wagner here. Bobby Wagner sees the field. He's really good. He actually, I use him a lot of the times, and he gets great animations. 85 zone, 93 play rec, 82 speed, 90 tackling, 85 block shot, 90 hit power. He gets great animations, and, he, and every time he hits, he's going for a hit stick, like every time he touches the, the receiver. So he's really good. Um, We have Deion Jones here. He doesn't really see the field either. 83 speed, 90 play rec, 85 zone, 83 hit power. He doesn't see the field either, but yeah, maybe in my 4-3, he sometimes sees the field, but it's rarely. I'm usually in dollar or 4-6. So Miles Jack, we got Miles Jack there. You guys can see his stats right here. 80 speed, 86 play rec, uh, 83 tackle and 76 block shed. He doesn't really see the field for me, but we have the big boss, Adrian Amos. This guy plays like a like an animal. 92 zone, 92 play rec, 90 speed. This guy plays like an animal. He's He's out here, I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's really good, I like this card. One of my favorite cards, honestly, in this game. He plays great, but he's still not the best on my team. I'm gonna show you guys the best guy on my team, and it is right here, Champ Bailey. This guy is everywhere. When I tell you 95 zone, 95 man, 95 play rec, 89 speed, 90 agility, 84 press, 88 jumping, 90 acceleration, he's made the most plays for me. I'm talking about the closest thing to looking like 91 zone from last year is Champ Bailey in this game, in my opinion, besides Jalen Ramsey. But the closest thing is Jalen is Champ Bailey. He just he's he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's swatting balls. He's picking them. He's you know he's doing everything. I have Marshawn Lattimore as my cornerback number four. He's in dollar. He's in dollar. Look at those stats: 87 speed, 87 excel, 89 man, 87 zone, 84 play rack. He's in dollar for me. Um, who else? We got Pat Pete. Damn, this video is getting long. We got Pat P, 87 speed, 94 man, 90 zone, 87 play rec. I man him up in dollar because of uh, the 88 press and 94 man. And he sticks to his guy like glue. He lives in the inside of receivers. Aaron Donald. We have Aaron Donald right here. You guys can see the stats. 76 speed, 83 excel, 90 power move, 88 strength. That's, that's about all that matters for him. 
he usually stays yeah he usually stays in his spot and the sue is there but i use jj watt as my dt khalil mack as my right end i mean as my left end and my no khalil mack is my second dt and then i have jadavian where's jadavian jadavian over here as my um my other rusher so i rush jj watt aaron donald khalil mack and jadavian clown um i have a gap right there you can see sue right here you can see his stats i'm not gonna read it out because you don't really need to read it out because i don't use him but yeah those are the stats right there we can see jj watt this guy is an absolute monster when i tell you he you put him in a spy and look at that look at his catching 78 catching as a dt with 71 speed in a spy at 6'5 with 88 block shed, 87 power move, 88 play rec. Literally, JJ Watt is catching, like he's jumping for balls at 78 catching because they have spies that play. Spies play so good this year. So I put him in the spy with 78 catching and he doesn't drop it. You know how sometimes you put somebody in a spy and it hits off the top of their head or they like go to catch it and they drop it? He doesn't do that. We got Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, I feel like they his stats are pretty underwhelming besides speed. 80 speed, 87 block shed, 87 power move. I feel like they're pretty underwhelming. Like, But he plays fine for me. <coughs> he doesn't get as much sacks as I, I would expect. Aaron Donald usually gets the sacks. And Jadavian Clowney does. But maybe that's because he's there in the outside. And he's in the inside. I might put Aaron Donald in the inside. And put, yeah. But, I don't know. He doesn't seem that overwhelming. But, yeah. And we have, last but not least, Jalen Ramsey, which pick specialist. 87 speed, 87 excel. 88 excel, 91 play rec, 94 man, 93 zone, and 91 press. When I tell you that's insane, that is insane. This is my team, guys. I'll fill in that gap later. And as you can see, this is the team. This is the full team, 989 overall. So when you guys see me in the God Squad, this is the team I'm usually running with for now. I'll do an update video next. I'll do the next update video in a few, and yeah, next week. And I'll just show you guys the sets. What I'm um, what I'm looking, what I'm looking at doing for Team Diamonds. As you can see, I completed seven Team Diamonds. I, did, I completed the the Bears, the Chargers. I'm almost done with the with the um. This one, I, I get their golds first when they're cheap, and I snipe their golds. So I've done that one. The Colts, I've done that one. Yeah, then the Chargers, the Colts, the 49ers, the, the Jets, the Lions, and yeah, and the Titans. I'm almost done with this one. I need a few. I need. I have the main card, JJ Watt and Jadavian. I need that, and I need a few more. Yeah, but as you can see, oh yeah, I'm pretty much done with Jalen's too. I pretty much have Jalen Ramsey's uh, team diamond as well. I have all of these cards are all completed. All in, I have Miles Jack, have Telvin, have AJ Bowie, have Jalen Ramsey. I just need to replace. I have the Jalen Ramsey because you guys saw, but he's just in the power up. I just need to replace. Um, I need to replace one of these guys. That's the only issue. Because once I do the Team Diamond, I'll be I'll have the Team Diamond, but then I'll need the power up again. So then I'll need another Jalen. You know what I'm saying? I'll need another Jalen for the power up. And I don't know if I want to do that because he's 400k. You know what I'm saying? So I'll need another Jalen for the power up. But yeah, um, as you guys can see, that's it for the video. That's it for my for my um teams. I'll eventually do these, and I'll eventually get Master Ronnie Lot. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is my team update 89 overall. This is August 13th, Monday. There'll be one next week, and I'll have a bunch of new additions. I'm playing this game, so I'll definitely just make a lot of coins from solo battles, from playing, from sniping, and from David Johnson sets. And, yeah, so with that, without further ado, guys, take care. I'm out until next week. See you. This is weekly lineup update number one of the God Squad. Effects out. Peace.